Okay, some more on Prince. Um, uh, a lot of people have been, well, not a lot of people, some people around here. I'm, I'm actually in South Africa, even though I have the Honduran flag right there. I'm in South Africa. Um, but, you know, people who know about Prince have been asking me stuff sometimes, you know, because he's American, I'm American, that kind of thing. Anyway, uh, so I wanted to go, I, I mentioned a, a, a while ago that my actual, absolute favorite Prince song that nobody knows about is they call Love, Thy Will Be Done. <clears throat> okay. But that's it. I'm going to do Prince pre to pre, pre the millennium, I guess we'd say pre, uh, whatever. So here are some, uh, some notes. Someone asked me, well, um, who, uh, the Prince Michael Jackson rivalry. I said, well, that's sort of like, uh, you know, they're, they're sort of pushing each other on. It may be a rivalry, but it was interesting because you had Michael Jackson, who's basically an insider good guy, and then you have Prince, who's basically an outsider talking the music industry, outsider a bad boy. You see how that works? So they, they I think they pretty well are, are, cool, are cool with each other. Uh, but 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 there really is. Um, um, but then they asked about you know like comparisons. What kind of like guitar player? And you know people bring up Jimmy Hendrix all the time. But Jimmy, remember his catalog. Even though he has a lot of bootleg. In fact, Prince has more bootlegs now than than than, uh, uh, than Jimmy. In fact, I guess between Jimmy and with Bob Dylan, they probably had a whole lot of bootlegs. A lot of people have bootlegs. But Prince had a lot of bootlegs. You know, bootleg king probably. Uh, anyway, uh, you can't really compare Jimmy and and, and Prince because uh, Jimmy didn't. His catalog is not that big, not as big as Prince. Certainly not not as big as Prince. I think the only one as far as catalog is concerned that you can compare to is probably Stevie. Stevie Wonder. I would it would be interesting, even though they're different generations, to have you know Prince and, and Stevie Wonder. That that would be an interesting um, battle, if you will. But anyway. Um, so as far as that go, I think there is no real guitarist you can you can compare him to. Um, I really can't think of anybody in my particular memory. So let's leave that one alone. I'll let, I'll let the musicians uh, uh, deal with that. But somebody asked me, in history, who, who would it be? And I'm going, I'm trying to think, who is comparative to, to Prince? Because remember, we have we have the the, um, the band leader aspect, we have the showman aspect, all those aspects. And I think the only the, the ones that comes closest to that I would say of of his lineage is probably Cab Calloway. Check out Cab Calloway. I think that would be as far as the flash, the style, the band discipline, the the, the I think Cab Cab Calloway, the, um, the jokester. I, I think it would be Cab Calloway. Um, so let me go with some, some other things. Oh, let me, uh, one other thing. I had a revelation one time with Prince, um, because when MTV, I think it was their 10th anniversary or 15th, whatever anniversary they had, they had a private kind of thing at the Ritz in New York or someplace in New York, I forgot where it was. Anyway, I, because I was the arts director of a radio station, music, made me the music director of a radio station, one of my DJs was invited to be the DJ for that event MTV was happening, so she brought me along. So thank you, Delphi. Um, but it was really interesting because it was all MTV employees. This was in New York. And it was kind of interesting because I'm looking around. At the time, I had very long locks. And it was like maybe five people with locks, and there were five brothers with locks in there. And maybe at the most, at the most, at the most, nine people, nine black people, Okay, maybe 15 black people. Of this huge, I mean, it must have been like 500, 600 people there, but more than that. But because I was up there with Delphine, um, the executives of MTV was sitting right there. And I'm looking at all these white hair guys, but I noticed something when I looked at them, because we was up in the balcony, when I looked over, I realized this is pure capitalism or how, how it works, the reality works. These guys, most of the people that's in this crowd, they could have been either the, you know, the, the nephews or nieces of, of these people. So basically, you hire your own, which is kind of interesting because Prince hired his own, but his own was Minneapolis, which is multi, so-called multiracial, you know. And plus, you know, he has the whole thing with Sly and, and making, you know, do, doing that whole that whole thing rather than be purely black or purely white or whatever they say. That was a revelatory moment to realize that, yeah, that's what happens, you hire your own. But the problem is, these people that hire their own in these big corporations, the problem is there's really nepotism. Well, it's tribal, well, I don't know what it is. It's, it's something that's not good and they need to get off it. Okay, um, so now, here we go. The best tour that I know of, I haven't seen all the Prince's tours, but I like, I think I like the Love Sexy tour. 
the best, the ones that I've seen, okay? Um, the best B-side for me is, without question, she's always in my hair. I just, it just affected me also, so that's the best B-side. In fact, the best era, I think, for Prince, for me personally, would be, I guess we'd call it the parade era, you know, right after Round the Roman the Day, somewhere between Round the Roman the Day, and a little bit afterwards, uh, because I just like the, 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 the style he was, at that time, the, the kinds of, of, of clothes he was wearing, the kind of attitude, the whole thing, I think that was really good. Uh, oh, by the way, also, the best video is on the Purple Rain, if you get the box the set, you know, with the two discs on there. The one that had, and I used to do this all the time, but when I used to, uh, when I was teaching at the University of uh, Cape Town, uh, my class, at some particular point, I would play this 20 minute, uh, we have this 20 minute thing, and it, would, uh, it was, it was uh, I Would Die For You and Baby I'm a Star, you know, the one with Sheila E and her band and Princess Band together. It's an incredible, it's, it's like a perfect, it's really it's an incredible uh, concert moment. So if you have, if you can get that, uh, check that out, okay? Okay, back to the point. Songs, here we go. Now, I said B side. Now, as far as regular albums or whatever, have you, I think, um, Probably the, the song, song, song. I really like the extended version of Little Red Corvette, the best. And as far as songs go, again, from that same era, we back before Purple, Little Red Corvette is Purple Rain era, I guess you would, you know, you would well, after Purple Rain. But uh, would be Erotic City, it's a choice between Erotic City and Lady Cab Driver. I don't know which one, but I like, I really like them, okay? Uh, back to Purple Rain, Purple Rain era, I don't know. I think I think I think I would die for you. I don't know why. I like that. I also like Darling Nikki. Uh, I like Take Me With You. There's a whole lot of Prince music on there. I do have to say thing. I don't want to detract or anything like that. But Purple Rain, if you really look at it, it's it really is a cult movie in that sense. Prince is not a great actor like that. But but Jerome and Morris killed it, I mean, and even um, the, the, the guy behind the bar, I mean, there's certain moments where you can see these people acting, but my favorite thing in all of the whole film, Prince film, all of the things that they, was the shadow dancers, I call them the shadow dancers up in the balcony of the, the, the First Avenue Club where we filmed that. So that's my Prince reg regulation, I just needed to, to get the rest of that stuff out there because it's very short, this is supposed to be very short. And that's it for me, T, from the Pattersons taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect about Prince.